Hey guys, so welcome to episode four of Subscribers Draw My Nails. I love doing these videos and I know you guys love them as well, so I'm super excited to be back with another one. Today's video is sponsored by Macar. You guys know I love them and I will be using a ton of their products as usual in this video and I just appreciate their support so much. You can use my affiliate code Emily Susanna for 15% off any Macart site. There's a US one, a Canadian one, a Europe one, and a UK one. So Macart has your back for any of your nail supply needs. So let's get on with some of the designs that I loved, but I did not pick for this video. This one from Tashi17. I love this one. It was really simple, but really, really cute. I did a black and white set in my last video, so I didn't want to do another this time, but this one, really pretty. And then there's this set, which I almost chose for last video because I believe it came out during the Birds of Paradise launch from McCart. And these colors matched it absolutely perfect. And this one was from Ella. And then there's this one that's super in trend, you know, the cow print from Yami2124. <laughs> This one's super pretty and actually changed the shape and length of my nail, which I appreciate. Not many people do when I do these designs. This one from Anna, this butterfly is really pretty. I love this idea, but I don't think I could execute it without stickers. And I think that would be a pretty short set if I just like stuck a bunch of stickers on there, called it a day. But I do love this idea. This one from Jasmine16, super cool idea, just having all of your nails be ice cream cones. I love that. I believe Femi Beauty just did a set that's like super similar with her kit. So do go check that out. She did it all 3D and everything like that. Of course, this one from Clara's P21, a Animal Crossing set, which I love. I actually have a temp did Animal Crossing nail art before and I was not able to get it. I cut it out of a video entirely because it was just that bad. <laughs> and then this one from Addison Ismans. This one I, I really love but I actually drew something similar to it myself like a month or so before this one was even submitted. Do keep in mind that there are only so many designs in this world but because I had drawn this one myself at some point I did not pick it, but of course, since I had drawn it at some point, I love this one, super pretty. And then finally, this one from Mia Cruz, 1208. Sort of a stained glass idea, love this idea. We'll probably do it in the future because I think it would look so cool, but it will require a ton of time. And I would wanna do some sort of design, almost like a church window or something like that in the nail. And then going through my screenshots, I found another example of another one that you guys sent me that was super similar to mine, and I'll show you guys the screenshot of me showing that. It was super similar already. If you would like to submit a design for episode five of Subscribers Draw My Nails, make sure to stick around to the end because I'm changing up the way I do it a little bit. And let's finally get on with the actual nails. Okay, so what we're actually going to do is just start off by putting the base on our nails. And for that, I'm going to use these stiletto extra extra long pump ups from McCart. So these are going to act as our base pretty much and then I will do whatever gel or acrylic or whatever else over these for the designs but we're just going to put these on both hands for now. I am going to attach these with some gel though opposed to just putting them on with some glue. I do already have a base coat on my nails so I am not going to worry about that. I'm going to size out my press-ons essentially. So I have all of my sizes now. I have pretty rounded cuticles and these are pretty square. So as I do this, I'm basically just going to round out the cuticles with a file. I don't need to do that for my thumbs though. So with this, I'm just going to use this Apre gel prep to chemically prime the inside of the nail where the natural nail is going to meet the tip just at the end here. Let that sort of dry. Then I'm using this quick gel from the cotton candy kit from McCart. And this is like a little squeezy gel instead of a poly gel. This is like a builder gel that you can just like squeeze out. And I'm just basically going to just squeeze a little bit of this on here. And I don't have a ton to fill in. Just going to squeeze it down, sort of get it all over and then push down and voila. So I'm going to hold this while I put it into my lamp and an air bubble or two, but it's on there strong. So let's just do that for all of the nails. Here's where I'm gonna need to round out the tip because you can see like it's pushing on that. So I'm just going to 
You don't need a ton of this gel. So I've been in the sun a little bit more recently and I'm starting to get some extra freckles. Okay, this one was almost perfect, a little bit too much gel, but other than that, almost perfect. If you don't have the special tip primer, you can also just use a regular primer. Most of the time that will also work. So here I have this hand done. I will be back in just one magical moment with this hand done as well. And voila, nails all done on this hand. So next, we're just going to do some filing. Not much, just enough to make it look a little bit more natural towards the cuticles, get all of the little bits off the top. So I'm gonna use my e-file and I'm gonna turn it to say eight for this. And I'm using one that's sort of like, you know, shape to get these little edges. Okay, so for the first look, it is going to be this one from Moon May Art, and I thought it was so pretty. It's really intricate, but it almost looks really simple, it looks really cohesive and sort of ethereal. She has a lot of this like light blue, a lot of white glitter, some gold, lots of little stars, and I think this one's gonna be super fun to do. So let's get started on this. First, we're going to start with our blue shade, and I'm gonna use the Sweet Tooth shade from the McCart Sweet Cravings gel polish kit. I think this one's going to work perfect because it's blue, but it's not like a bright blue and the blue in her picture looks really subtle. So this is what we're going to use. We're going to start on the baby blue and glitter with white cloud nail. So we're going to start with our pinky and I'm going to be using a ton of it. So I'm just going to put this down here. Then aside from that, I'm gonna be using, just dug this out of my like nail box, this really cool pen from Sparkle & Co. And basically it has all these little attachments so that you can use what you need for your nail art. So I'm gonna start off with this little squared one first. I bought this thing to try to keep my nails centered a little bit. So excuse me while I figure this out, but I'm just going to paint most of this with the gel. That way it will be opaque until we get about here. Then I'll go in with this little brush. And then I'm just going to clean anything up. The line does not have to be perfect because we are going to go in with the gold to outline that. So I have one layer on and I'm just going to quickly do a second. Okay, so we have that as like a tip. I'm going to cure this. Now I'm gonna take this white from McCart from their black and white set. And here is where it's gonna start getting a little complicated. Okay, so she says baby blue plus glitter white clouds. How we're gonna do this is I'm gonna put a matte top coat on here. So I'm gonna cure that. Okay, now here is sort of where it should hopefully come together. So I'm gonna take this white and this little, it looks like almost like a little stippling brush, you know? I feel like that probably will make clouds. I'm gonna just, like that. I think it kind of looks like a cloud. Clouds don't have a certain shape, right? Yeah, those are clouds. Also, I need to look, look at this brush. It's from the squeezy tube gel kit I used earlier. I found this brush in there and I was like, this one's so pretty. Now to get the glitter on there, we're just going to do it on top of this little piece of paper and I'm going to use this glitter from Dumb Blonde Glitter on Etsy. I'm going to just get like a little scoop. I don't think we should need too much. And then I'm going to just pour it on top of our wet gel. Then I'm just going to tap as much off as I can and let's cure it. I'm hoping that this turns out like I want to. I'm hoping that this glitter is fine enough also. It's a little bit thicker than I thought it was going to be, so I may have to just scratch this nail entirely and find a finer glitter. Okay, let's see. 
I mean, I don't know. Does this even look like clouds? I feel like in a sense it does, and then in another sense it doesn't. But I almost like, I don't know, I can't decide if I do or do not like like the chunkiness of this. Okay, hold on, let me go look at my other glitter. Okay, so what I found was this glitter. This glitter I believe was from Shein or AliExpress, and this one's more of a white, less of a like iridescent, like pink blue. So I'm gonna scrape this off and do it with this glitter instead, which is fine. You know, things don't always turn out how you think every single time. Okay, so try number two. This is probably more what she had in mind when she said white glitter anyway. There we go. I think that's on all sides. I'm gonna cure that. Now I'll brush it off. And I actually think that does look like clouds and I think that looks a little bit better, probably more like what the picture actually is. So we had a little hiccup, but we're back on track. Happy with how it's going now. Next, this one right here is just all white glitter. All right, we bring in the glitter again, and this time this whole thing has glitter. I am just going to smush those sides in a little bit. Now we cure. Okay, we're actually getting somewhere now. The next nail is a little interesting, so it looks like we're going to start, do like a little X sort of thing. So we'll start with the blue. So we'll cure this part and do a matte top coat. I thought I was gonna need those little tools a lot more than I'm using them because I'm actually able to get fairly straight lines with just this brush, which is nice. Once again, glitter. Why are there little black chunks in that? Do you guys see that? And a big chunk. There's an imposter one. See that one? Okay, we're actually getting somewhere. So next we need a marble pattern. For that, I'm just going to put a little glob of this blue right there. And I'm gonna put just a glob of the white on top of it. Okay, so we got a nice marble pattern. I'm gonna let gravity do the work on this one. So I'm gonna just hold this finger straight, Let it kind of go down by itself and then I'll clean it up. I just, this marble pattern is like really nice. Okay, now obviously there's a ton of globbing going on. Hmm, how we gonna fix this? Uh, I'm just going to... Okay, we actually have a nice marble pattern. And then for the thumb, we're once again doing just a whole tip with some glitter. I feel like I know they don't look exact because I'm using like extra long tips. And I think in this picture I was using like 5XL ones. But the last time I wore some 5XL stiletto tips, I ripped off half my real nail. So I need to just like build myself up to wear those again. You guys know I love my long nails. Just I want that nail healed 100% before I put it, it on again. And I would say it's at like, I don't know, maybe like 85. Like it's pretty much grown back, but I can tell like it's still fragile. All right, and I believe this is our last time with the glitter. I've never done this method before with like the glitter, with curing like the glitter into the gel, but it works really well. I'm really impressed with it. So now we have all of these nails and I think we should move on to the gold aspect. So what I'm hoping to do for this is use actual gold foil. So let me 
show you my plants. I'm going to take my little palette again. And I'm going to use the gel that we used earlier. So I don't really want to use a top coat because I want something that's going to stay sticky. I don't want to have a no wipe top coat or anything like that. So I am taking that gel and I also I think that gel will be a little bit easier to move. I don't want it to feather and this is a little bit of course it's going to be a stiffer gel because it's a builder gel not a like top coat gel or anything. So I'm like holding my breath. Okay see okay so I have that you can sort of see shiny so I'm going to cure that. And then I have this huge giant thing of gold flakes. Look at $4. You can, you know, I've said this before, but you can find a lot of nail supplies at craft stores because things can just be used for all different mediums and things like gold foil get sold in this little itty bitty container for like 10 bucks or you can go and get this thing of gold foil from the craft store for just a couple. And I'm hoping that this gold foil won't really stick to anything but where we put down the gel. And I'm hoping we'll just be able to like wipe it off afterwards anywhere that we don't want it. Now this could totally not work. I guess we're gonna have to wait and see, but I'm hoping it does. Okay, so I don't know if we'll be able to use the actual gold foil. That's okay. We always have another plan around here. All right, so I had to pull out my pigments. So now we will be using just a top coat and mixing that in for our gold. Usually you just need like a tiny, not that much. All right, that looks pretty gold if you ask me. So hopefully this will work. Take two. Okay, it's gonna work. Woo. Okay, so let me tell you what I did. Okay, so I took the same squeezy gel from earlier and I mixed it with the pigment because the top coat was just too thin for like going over glitter and stuff like that. I needed something thicker that was going to like sort of withstand its shape. So that's what I did and it's working out much better. Okay, you know what? Honestly, I was having a hard time seeing where everything was gonna come together, but I feel like it's finally coming together at least a little bit. Okay, so I have all of the gold outlines done. Now we just have a couple more things to do for this set. I'll be honest, I'm not 100% sure on how I feel. I'm gonna put the matte top coat over this because I just realized like everything here is matte except for this literally one tip. There we go, much better. Okay, so we're at the rhinestone part and I hope it's okay that I'm going to take a little bit of creative liberty with this and for the part that says gold stars and constellations, I want to use these star charms from Femi Beauty's poly gel kit. I just feel like they go kind of well. It's not necessarily a constellation, but they do have like, you know, a couple little stars attached to each other. And I just think they would go really, really well with this set. So I want to use these. Instead of using these other stars, I believe, let me show y'all. These right here were probably the stars that they were thinking of, but I think I like these ones better, just to be honest. I'm gonna get those out. We're gonna need some gold and some blue rhinestones. So it looks like the blue ones are a little bit bigger. The other ones are not. So I'm going to use the same gel I've been using. This one's just so versatile. <laughs> so let's just do all of the cuticle rhinestones first. That's probably going to be the easiest thing to do. I was thinking of using these big ones, but I don't think that the ones that they are thinking of are that quite that big. So I'm just going to use these. These have like a blue reflection on them. So I'm gonna use these as the blue ones. Then I do in fact have some sort of gold looking ones. Okay, we got so much of the rhinestones pretty much done. Now we just have to add the last two. I'm gonna cure all this in place first though before I mess it up while we try to put the big chunky ones on. Okay, so let's try the thumb first. 
Ta-da. So what I'm trying to do with this is make sure that I get it all on here while making sure that I don't get any gel on the dangly part because that's like the whole fun part of it. Okay, I think that's good. The dangly pieces on these are so fun. Okay, and that's pretty much it for these nails. Of course, the final reveal will be at the end. So let's move on to our next set of nails. The next drawing that we are going to do is this one from A Vital Coco. I wanted to do one that wasn't quite as clear as the previous because I don't want you guys to think you have to just, like spend hours drawing me a design or anything like that. That's totally not the case. I was trying to think how I could do the uh, whole, you know, like swirl and tie-dye and I originally brought out this gel set from McCart which is honestly the colors are absolutely perfect this set has my absolute favorite color I think ever from McCart in their gel polish form which is this one right here this green but because I just did that like swirl on this finger and it was kind of big and bulky I decided we're gonna try to do the majority of this with acrylic which I'm kind of scared about I got a ton of different ones right here. For the majority, for four fingers of these, is pretty much, they are pretty much the same. I think for the pointer finger, I am still going to do gel and we're going to just like build it up so much and then file it in to make that weird, almost like heat tracking effect. So first we're just going to pour our monomer and stuff. I pulled out this acrylic brush from a car. It's so cute. This one is an eight, so it is small. I wanted a small brush to do all of these different colors in because I can't be, using a giant brush and trying to also at the same time put like a thousand different colors. Okay, trying my best to be organized. Okay, so I'm gonna get a red out. Whoa, so bright. Is that a red or is that pink? I think it's a red. Then this orange, I tried to find the absolute brightest colors I could out of all of my acrylics. And then I'm pulling out my very own mix, Alien Spit, which wow. Lots of a mess there. Gotta find better containers next time I do that again. I feel like every time I tried a new container and it never works. And then I got this really bright one from Glam and Glitz. Look at how neon that yellow is. Super cool. And then blue I had trouble with. I know I could have just like made my own blue, which I probably should have at this point, but I just wanted to pull out stuff. So I have this blue, which not quite as dark as I'd like, but I also have this blue. This one's more of like a, I think it's like an aquamarine. And then I have this purple. And then I have a pink. So lots and lots of bright, bright colors. Super excited. I haven't done anything like this before where I've like played with acrylic this much. I'm gonna bring this out so I can try to make sure that I'm like, Ch -ch -ch. because of course I saved my opposite hand for the acrylic. Say hi to yourself. Okay, I got my little brush. Got the acrylics ready. Got my inspo picture here. Let me zoom you guys out entirely. For Let's just like try to do, okay, <laughs> here we go. Here we go. I don't know how exactly I'm gonna do this. So, wow, acrylic with left hand. Okay, so for this, I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of this. Now these are more or less meant to like run a bit. So I'm not gonna really try to make them do much of anything. This is not looking how I had planned. What is even happening, right? Like this does not look like how I envisioned. Like, I don't know if I can trust the process right now. Let's just try, you know, we'll just keep adding more until maybe it looks right. I don't know. Alrighty guys, so this is all dried. I have hope, let's file. <laughs> I feel like in theory this should work because I didn't really mix colors. I just like sat them on top of each other. See, this just doesn't look like I thought it would. And that's unfortunate. So I think we should switch to the gel route. You guys see why? Like it just, I just don't think it's going to look how I want it. I want it to look like wavy. This one just looks like weirdly blocky. Today is just not the day to experiment like that, I think. <laughs> I tried. 
for that. Sorry for wasting y'all's time with that part. I'm gonna fix this and be back in a moment with a new nail. And so we can do gel and I think that will be better. Okay, let's see. So basically I'm just going to grab long, like big bunches kind of like that and just sort of swirl them in. And at the same time, try to just like fill up the nail. These ones do have some sparkles in it, but oh well. I feel like you can't tell that much. Okay, and then to just sort of make it swirly, I'm gonna just try to also fill in gaps. I'm gonna try not to mix things too much. So here is pretty much this nail. I think it looks okay. I'm gonna just like clean up the sides a little cause that is bubbling out quite a bit. And I actually think it looks okay. I'm gonna hold it down like straight up for a minute so it can maybe level out a little bit and also underneath. Underneath look cool, it kinda does. In my opinion, this is definitely better looking so far than the acrylic. Look at my little paper towel. I think I got it down now. I think I know what I'm supposed to do. Okay, and I think that looks pretty good. So next, we're actually gonna just do this one. This one's gonna require some filing in a bit, but what I'm basically gonna just do is put like a couple layers of each color on this, and then we're gonna file down and make sort of like a, like I said, like a heat radar look. You know what I mean? This one's gonna get like two or three layers of each shade. And then as cool as this nail is shiny, I think I'm gonna put a matte top coat over it because I think it needs a top coat before I touch anything like a dog or whatever and get some hair in it. But I think matte is how we're gonna go with this set. I think that looks cool. Okay, now we have two or two layers of yellow. Now we need to do green. I know this is gonna be a thick nail, but hopefully our process works and it'll just be my job to file like very meticulously to make this work. We're almost done. This is the last shade on this nail. It's a lot happening here. So I'm just going to cure this one last time for a while. I'm gonna wipe this off with some rubbing alcohol because it is, it is surely gonna be super sticky. Okay. So I'm grabbing a 180 grit file. You don't want to do this with say an 80 grit file because the roughness of this is going to make it like chunk off. So I'm trying to avoid that. So for filing for, to get this effect, I'm gonna try to file the sides sort of like at an angle like this so that we get the effect where it's just the pink on the inside. But I'm gonna try not to file the pink on the very, very, very top. See, we're sort of getting it right here. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I did not think that it was gonna come out this good. Let me clean this up and show you. Oh, I did it. I think I'll probably work on another finger first before I go back to filing this one though because my hand is like cramped. <laughs> now we're basically going to do what we did to this nail to all of these nails. I'm just going to do this really quickly because we're basically doing the same thing we did on here just on three more fingers. Okay, so we have all of this like tie-dye, swirly swirl 
stuff going on. So now we have to do the couple little designs. So we have a mushroom and an alien. I need, again, once a little palette. I'm gonna use my white, the best white in my opinion, by the way. This one only needs one layer. For this one, I'm going to white out what I'm gonna draw first. So for this, I'm gonna just do see probably like some sort of stem like that and then we need the mushroom cap okay so I'm gonna cure this like this and then that way I can not mess it up and then we can draw over it and hopefully that'll make it stand out a little bit from the different colors we also need to make a rounded triangle for the alien. Okay, so now I'm gonna just try to do the mushroom. I feel like this type of mushroom with like the red spotted top is the most popular, but to be honest, I don't even know what the name of it is. Okay, it's called the a mantina. Okay, there we have that. And then let's cure it. And then some white spots. Our mushroom is cute. Okay, now we must do our alien. This is just coloring him in at first. For our eyes and mouth, not sure what expression he's gonna have, but let's see. Does he look too scary? I think he's gonna have to be scary. It's just, it is what it is. Okay, I swear we're almost done. I'm gonna put a top coat over these two and then I'm gonna finish the filing on here, put a matte top coat and we will be completely done with this set. Okay, so let's finish filing on this. Oh my God, this red gel, I must have touched it in there and then I put it on my finger and I thought that I like majorly cut myself. Oh my God, I about had a heart attack. And last cure, I will show you guys the final results of the nails outside and also how to submit an entry for my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I absolutely love how these nails came out. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I think this nail specifically, this like heat tracking looking one is my absolute favorite. I just think it's so cool. So if you would like to submit a design, what you need to do is follow me on Instagram and what I'm going to do when it is time to do another one of these videos, I will post my template picture on Instagram. I used to do it on my stories, but I'm going to post it on my actual feed this time. So if you wanna make sure you get that, you can turn on my post notifications. And then in that post, I will provide an email for you to send it off to me. That way, even if you don't have an actual Instagram, you don't have to DM it to me. And I will also put a little notice here on my community tab that I have posted it. And you don't have to have an account on Instagram to go to on someone's profile that is public. That way you can take a screenshot of that and email it to me. I do like to have a new template for every single video. So after I do a video with that template, I will no longer accept submissions with that same nail template because I like for each video to be at least a little bit different and have the thumbnail look different as well. And I also wanted to put this out there. Any emotional manipulation in your message to me with this design will automatically make me never do your design. I have people who message me telling me I need to do their nail design because they had like the worst birthday ever or they're sick or some other thing and I get a lot of those messages and I just, I can't do them all because of one reason or another. I'm going to just stick to which ones speak to me. So please do not try to guilt trip me into doing your design because it does make me feel bad and I'm not going to give into it and all you're gonna do is just make me feel bad. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please make sure to give it a like if you enjoyed it. It helps me out a lot and it really appreciate it. It lets me know to keep this series running when you like the video. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will hopefully see you next time. Bye.